Well, good morning and welcome to another virtual tour by Gold Acre Estates. Today we're in the gorgeous village of Villa Verde and we have a huge property to show you. A real Canarian style uh, uh, villa here, if you like, on a huge plot. Very, very private. As you can see behind me, look, the all important barbecue area. A really beautiful bread oven, a traditional bread oven and proper barbecue with a chimney look and of course everywhere for the family to sit out under a bit of protection here uh, to enjoy uh, a family gathering and barbecue. Olive trees of course and this really huge house just behind me. The house has been slightly modified to include now uh, a little annex apartment downstairs for close friends and family and it is really truly in a beautiful area. Lovely views from upstairs, the rooftop terrace, and of course, uh, the uh, the viewpoint of the windows from upstairs there as well. Now, all the details, as always, are on goldacreestates.com. It is also on our mobile app and our latest WhatsApp channel, uh, group and channel. So please uh, use a QR code now and get that WhatsApp group onto your mobile device where you can see actually a full catalog of the properties here available in Fuerteventura. And of course, receive uh, interesting news articles about the island and then I'll show you the rest of the villa. Okay, so just a quick overview from the outside before we go inside. Um, at ground level, you can see a lovely double garage there and that annex apartment on the bottom right hand side that actually forms on the top of that a lovely roof terrace uh, from the main house and of course lovely views from there. But it extends further than that as well as you can see stairs lead you up to that very top top roof ter terrace. And then just panning around over the tops you can see the mountains in the distance to the south and of course over the tops of your neighbours as well from here. Lovely olive trees around. You'll notice that from the northerly point of view the land slopes down towards Coraleco and in the distance also you do have glimpses there uh, to Lanzarote. And then around past Coraleco and to Villa Verde itself. And then just coming down you can see there's a little piece of land on the north here and the barbecue and entertainment area. Again, this lovely covered pergola. And that's really lovely to have. I, I, it forms a real oasis here because you've got this covered pergola barbecue area, uh, a main terrace driveway to the garage and some artificial grass with this beautiful big olive tree. Uh, so it just creates a nice sort of oasis. And then back to the property itself and you can start to appreciate the actual size that you have here. And just a quick look from the actual entrance drive area, the front entrance to the property, lovely mature palms here as well. There is a running gate here, solid wood uh, for the car entrance and a separate pedestrian gate, beautiful stone walls as well. But just coming up so you can see the actual roof terrace here, that's the highest point and you can appreciate the, the views to the north just see the Atlantic Ocean as well. Okay so I've literally just come in the front door here and uh, you met with this entrance hallway really beautifully finished I have to say not just with the mirror uh, but you'll see there's a wall feature here with up lighting as well really quite a feature here another one so you're coming in and the main hallway then as you're greeted on the left are the accommodations three bedrooms in front there on the left is a WC, a guest WC. Here on the right hand side is the kitchen. So let me take you there first. Basically you've got a really beautiful and large family kitchen. It is a natural black granite stone finish and you can see it's fully equipped. Large fridge freezer there, electric Nef uh, Vitro Ceramico or Hob extractor there as well and just coming through there's a window to the east and then there's a tower oven microwave and coming through here is a utility room. There's a side entrance door, so it's quite good as a laundry room as you'd expect. There's a window there as well. Great ventilation then. And yes, you do have your laundry machines here. And then just coming back through this kitchen to the main hallway, you'll notice here on the right hand side are stairs that lead down. We're gonna go there in a moment, but first let me show you around this ground floor level of the property. And just coming through the main hallway here, these double opening doors look on the right hand side lead you into the lounge and dining room. So you've got a formalized dining area here look with six chairs. There's a window facing to the east there as well and if I just scan around you can see it's quite a large space this. You do have a very 
comfortable TV nook. And you'll notice as well, a lovely stone fireplace. Really beautiful to have that as a feature. Now just on this, while we're in this room, you'll notice some windows here. I'm going to lead you outside. There is actually an open terrace area that has been closed in. So you do have in these internal rooms quite a lot of windows that add some natural light as you move around. If I just come back to the main lounge area and before we nip outside there, Again, here to the side is another room. It's a smaller lounge room, if you like. It would make a really fabulous office space. And even here, look, you've got this internal window because, of course, it leads out to the outside terrace area. Let me show you that now. So just coming back outside, there's the lounge on the right. So here, this whole area was a covered terrace. Again, you can see solid roof, concrete roof there, large sturdy concrete pillars all the way through and just coming around the corner to better explain this you'll see that along here there's been windows added on the left hand side and that's just created this wrap around space really always a view to the north here and out across the countryside so plenty of windows it really is quite a feature you can see there's very much a family house. There's lots of family heirlooms around. Out on the terrace there, which I'll show you in just a moment, but it wraps all the way around, look. Of course, you can have the shutters or blinds down if you want. It's quite a big space, this, to use. And it does provide, then, these windows going to that little lounge, also to the master bedroom here on the left. And it finishes out the door that goes to that front garden area as well. So plenty of light on the outside uh, corridor of this property. So just nipping out that window and to this lower roof terrace, again, really just views across your neighbours here. If I turn around, you can see elevated views to Mount Escanfraga there on the left hand side and back to the main property itself. And of course, down where we started earlier on, that lovely olive tree there and the barbecue area and of course you've got even from here distant views off to Lanzarote in the in the in the distant view there if I just pan around again easterly coastal Atlantic Ocean views there and there's Mount Escanfraga as well just coming back through the main hallway front door entrance and to the left hand side this is the corridor that leads you to the accommodation. The first on the left hand side is a double room. You'll notice there mirrored built in wardrobes here. On the right hand side, more wardrobes. And then there is a window that looks out actually to the front garden there. And just next to that is another guest double room being used as the office, if you like. Again, wardrobes on the left hand side there. Don't forget all the photos are on the website of goldacreestates.com. And then across the corridor, you have your family bathroom. Double sinks there, granite stone, worktop surface if you like, B-Day, WC, and a full bath with a shower unit as well. And at the end of the corridor then is the master bedroom. And just walking through here, again, good size double, wardrobes on the right-hand side. The window here, look, again, just to explain that, that window looks out. Again, you've got that covered terrace area with those windows there, look. So really, you can just leave these windows open all day long. And lastly, just to show you briefly, there is an ensuite shower here. Again, this one has been tiled floor to ceiling. Again, a natural granite and his and hers sink on the left-hand side there. And you do have here also a large mirror and cascade shower with that lovely modern walk-in shower piece. And of course, these windows also look out to that wraparound terrace area. So just before we go downstairs to show you the garage and the really modern annex, let me lead you up to the rooftop terrace. Again, you've got rather short, steep stairs that lead up here. But before I take you to the terrace, which is on the left, firstly, there is a further room on the right-hand side really tall ceilings, wood clad here. It has been used as the kiddies bedroom, if you like, or an overflow for the family. And you do have some phenomenal views 
across the terrace there to the countryside. And then out onto the roof. Just a quick pano really, just to remind you where we are. There's the front entrance garden terracing there. You can see it's a flat roof here. Really quite open space. They don't really utilize it, but you can imagine the views from here over the tops of your own roofs and terraces, over the top of the garden, again, where the barbecue area is, and of course, into the distance there. Beautiful views to uh, Lanzarote. That's actually Coral Echo there, look in the distance. And just panning around, you do get some fabulous countryside views of the mountains look to the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, so I've just come downstairs. There are internal stairs that lead you down into the garage area. This is really quite a long garage, so for anybody that needs a garage space, really quite useful. I could certainly imagine using one part of this garage as a workshop area. It's very, very long, as you can see. And then off to the side look, you've actually got like a bodega, if you like. Another storeroom on the right there, look, a little door, but also here on the left-hand side, you can imagine where you would have your wine collection, I suppose. Okay, well, that's the main part of the house now uh, that you've seen there. Again, just coming back downstairs, I wanna show you quite an interesting part that they've actually added onto this property. Uh, you'll notice here, look behind me, you've got a lovely little annex. It's a really, really modern uh, apartment that they've done, which I'm gonna show you now. And of course it looks out onto the space here where you also have uh, this beautiful olive tree and behind that an outdoor bathroom as well. So let me show you that now. Okay, so literally uh, just off the side of the property here, there's that wooden door that leads from that little room, that storeroom if you like. Lovely solid wood door and really quite a gorgeous little bridge feature, this privacy uh, walling here. This part does have its own outdoor dining area look that looks out onto that tree and the barbecue area. You'll notice a lot of glass and it's a really, really modern finish here. So let me get you in. Firstly, look, beautiful wooden. I think it's a Silistone finish this. It's a gloss white finish on the work surface there. Again, those windows looking out and now you can appreciate the view that you're getting to the garden. Again, on the left here, look, plenty of storage. You do have that electric hob. And then you've got, of course, the tower unit on the left there and the large fridge freezer. This central island wash area and prep station, if you like. Again, a very modern finish in comparison to the traditional nature of this Canarian villa. At the back here, look, just a lovely open plan lounge dining area. Again, rock wall feature, huge telly along the wall there. And this electric fire here itself is quite a feature. You can switch that on. It really does add to the room and the feeling and atmosphere. But this is really quite a lovely modern annex. And again, great for friends and family to stay here. In addition to that, the accommodation. Just through here, look, left and right, we've got a double room here on the left-hand side with built-in wardrobes, little window there for ventilation. You can see the electric point there on the left, so you can actually get two single beds left and right. That one there is actually a pull-out. And then dividing that and the next room is this really beautiful modern shower room here. Just loving this floating sink. Again, the same material the stone finish there, and of course the lighting in the mirror. Beautiful cascade waterfall shower there as well. And just behind here, you do have your bidet and WC. And then just behind this space is a larger room. Again, left to right, plenty of space. Lovely uh, stone tiled feature, I would say, on that wall there. 
down lighting throughout here with LEDs. You've got an open wardrobe system here, but look where you're looking out. Again, double glazed windows here, looking straight out to your garden. Just coming back outside really, if you're living in this part of the house, obviously you're gonna be closer to this particular space. And again, it really is quite a lovely little nook here under this gorgeous olive tree. Again, a pergola here. You could cover that over if you wanted to. Just loads of modern features as you walk through here. And this wooden house here, literally, if I just peek you through, this is actually a lovely shower room. Again, very modern in its design there. White flooring, sink and mirror unit. There is this white light there. And then you can see here the stone feature that's actually a shower. There's no shower installed, but you've got all the wood, uh, all the water, sorry, uh, plumbing already done, and that's the shower tray there. Well, there you go. I hope that was a helpful virtual tour of this very large family house here in Villa Verde. Uh, just a couple of notes, really. It's a beautiful village here, and this one is in an elevated position uh, to the village itself, which is, of course, why you get these beautiful views off to the coast and the surrounding mountains from here. The property is quite large. It's a perfect family uh, house. So if you are looking for a large villa, it is three bedrooms, two bathrooms, a WC upstairs, but of course they have created this additional space downstairs, which gives and affords further accommodations. And again, it's a really nice modern twist. If you want to pull a pool in, no problem. Pool licenses are available here. And this, where I'm standing, would be the perfect spot just to tie the property to this barbecue area if you do want to pull. All the details as always on Goldacre Estates and our mobile app and WhatsApp channel. So if you haven't got it to your mobile phone now, use the QR code that I'm just about to post and get that onto your mobile phone. It just allows you at a flick of a button to have the full catalog of properties available here. And don't forget, it's only at goldacreestates.com where you can see if a property's already been sold subject to contract. So make sure you're always checking the availability there if you're booking flights to fly out to see the property of your dreams. I hope that was helpful. We look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.